120? 60. 120. 60. Uh, 90? 30. Uh, oh, uh, oh, really? Uh, oh. Nah, just kidding. 60. M maybe 75 could work. 60. Uh, I'm just gonna go to a different pawn shop. <laughs> Fine. I'm Rick Harrison, and you're watching Pawn Stars. There's no news, there's no leaks or anything right now, so that's when these videos get more into the speculative nature. So I'm speculating a lot today because there's basically been no word from any source, any supply chain analyst or nobody, that's claiming when is pro motion, you know, 120 hertz coming to non-pro devices. And it feels like maybe never is a possibility, especially when you consider the name pro motion, but it's also worth mentioning that not all pro features have always remained restricted to the pro model. So you know, when the iPhone first got OLED, it was only on the higher-end iPhones, which inevitably were renamed to 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, until 2020. And then they brought the Super Retina XDR display to the cheaper iPhones. But it took about three generations before Apple was comfortable doing that. So I'm not saying that is a concrete pattern of approach, but if they were to keep up with this trend, that would mean that 120 Hertz would just be a Pro feature for three generations. That would include the 30 13 Pro, the 14 Pro, and the 15 Pro, or Ultra, and then Apple wouldn't even consider bringing anything above 60 Hertz to the lower end iPhones until the iPhone 16 series. But the iPad is a good example as to why we probably shouldn't assume it's going to work that way, because they first brought ProMotion to the 2017 iPad Pros, which launched in the middle of 2017, and they still, to this day, have not brought ProMotion to any cheaper iPads, even the iPad air. They've stayed pretty consistent about leaving that as a pro feature. So, just like for years, we've been expecting Apple to eventually get rid of the non-laminated display on the cheaper iPad, but they don't get rid of it because they like picking some of these features to be specifically a reason to get the pro. And right now, surrounding rumors of the iPhone 15, there is another pro feature, Dynamic Island, that is allegedly going to be coming to the cheaper iPhones as well. So, I don't want to necessarily say never, but what I find interesting is there's been continuous a lot of reports surrounding Apple trying to bring OLED to the iPad lineup, whereas there's been no reports surrounding Apple trying to bring the LTPO dynamic refresh rate displays to lower end hardware, whether that be your iPad Airs, your iPhones, or even the MacBook Airs. So at least from what I can tell surrounding these reports, my guess is that Apple views ProMotion as a niche enough thing, you know, not everybody can tell the difference, not everybody cares about that type of feature, that they're going to keep it as an exclusive, even if it's not competitive for their lower end hardware anymore. Like, the main reason this topic keeps coming up is because there are so many cheap Android phones these days that at least get 90 hertz, maybe 120 hertz, and they're much cheaper than the iPhone 14 and 14 plus, but it's still driving a ton of people nuts that these very expensive $800, $900 iPhones still have 60 hertz, but my overall theory is that Apple is seeing a lot of success with the iPhone 14 Pro series, and part of that is having a large demographic of tech community people all saying that those regular iPhone 14s are just not worth it and you should just go for the Pro if you really want to upgrade this year because the regular iPhone 14 is so similar to the 13 anyway. So essentially Apple has backed themselves into a corner where having that entry level but still flagship iPhone be kind of a bad deal is probably paying off for them. So that's why I'm here to predict that I don't think the iPhone 15 series is going to get 120 hertz on all models and I don't even think the iPhone 16 series is going to either and there's an overall different manufacturing approach that comes with the LTPO panels, which is basically what Apple requires for ProMotion for the refresh rate to dynamically change. But once you start accommodating for LTPO, it doesn't really save you that much money by going with 60 hertz over 120. So that's why I don't agree with the thought process that some people have of, well, maybe they'll compromise and just do 90 hertz or they'll give it dynamic refresh rate changing, but it's still locked at 60 hertz. We're seeing Google attempt that with the Pixel 6a series and a lot of people are still quite upset by that approach but my guess is that Apple is still going to find much cheaper display panels from other suppliers outside of Samsung as long as they're just OLED and 60 hertz and that's probably just going to be the standard for many many years to come because at this rate there's no sign of Apple bringing promotion to any non-pro device but if I had to bet at some point will we ever get it I mean maybe if they find more pro features to make as an excuse 
for you to opt for the iPad Pro or what have you. Could be extra ports, could be Thunderbolt on the iPhone and giving you slow USB-C speeds on the lower end iPhones, but that's still going to be a pretty niche use case for a lot of iPhone buyers. Maybe it just means keeping the camera objectively worse on the cheaper hardware, but I'm going to say we're not going to see anything over 60 hertz come to a non-pro Apple device until like 2026 or 2027. We'll see how well that prediction ages, but no, I'm not anticipating any kind of, I don't know, plus motion or air motion, something like a step below pro motion, but I would love to be wrong because I do really appreciate high refresh rate displays. I love them on my iPhone, my MacBook, and my iPad, and I want them to come to more things, but honestly, it just makes too much sense for Apple to treat it as an upsell feature right now. How do you guys feel about it? Do you think that iPhones are losing their competitive edge by not keeping up with the Android specifications, or does all that really matter? Feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly on Talos of Tech Pro. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos, so thanks again. This is your Absolute Pure. I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Fine. I'm Rick Harrison, and you're watching Hertz. <laughs>